Hi, my name is Stefano and welcome to ABTV News, where we cover the latest political and world events. Here are the headlines for this week. Ethiopia protests, nearly 100 killed in Aramia and Amhara. Madeira wildfires, evacuations as flames approach Funchal. Texas baby dies from Zika-linked defect. Amnesty International says nearly 100 people were killed in the weekend's protests in Ethiopia. As demonstrators clashed with security forces in different parts of the country, the rights group says the most deadly incident happened in Bahardar, where at least 30 people died on Sunday. But the authorities have said seven died in Bahardar and that security forces were reacting to violence from protesters. There has been an unprecedented wave of protests in Ethiopia in recent months, and people living in Aramo and Amhara regions have been complaining about political and economic marginalization. Amnesty says that 67 people died when security forces fired live bullets at peaceful protesters in different towns and cities in the Aramo region over the weekend. There were clashes between security forces and protesters on Sunday in Bahardar, the Amhara regional capital. Opposition activists have been given similar figures for the number of people killed. The government has blamed nearby and distant foreign enemies and social media activists for defying warnings about holding unauthorized protests, the government-affiliated Fauna Broadcasting Corporate reports. The authorities have said that the demonstrators were destroying government and private property and inflicting deaths on innocent civilians, and arrests were made as people were trying to spread the violence, FBC adds. The United States, a close ally of the government, said it was deeply concerned by the violence and said the people's rights to demonstrate should be respected. The unrest was sparked last November by a plan to expand the capital into Aramia. This led to fears that farmers from the Aramia ethnic group, the largest in Ethiopia, would be displaced. The plan was later dropped, but protests continued, highlighting issues such as marginalization and human rights. New York-based Human Rights Watch says that more than 400 people have been killed in clashes with the security forces since protests began, but the Ethiopian government has disputed this figure. More than 400 people have been evacuated on the Portuguese island of Madeira after wildfires destroyed buildings near the capital, Funchal. Regional President Miguel Albuquerque said one person had suffered serious burns and scores of others had needed treatment for the effects of smoke. At least 27 homes have been destroyed on the popular holiday island, he added. Smoke fanned by strong winds has also disrupted flights at the airport. Mr. Albuquerque told reporters that fires encroaching on Funchal were now under control and cooler temperatures forecast for Wednesday should erase the situation. Firefighters said steep hills and dense woodland were making it difficult to tackle the flames. Madeira has been experiencing high summer temperatures, and footage showed plumes of smoke over central Funchal on Tuesday, along with residents using hose pipes to try to quench fires as burning embers were carried by the wind. A shopping center and a hospital were among the buildings evacuated, reports said. Wildfires had also been affecting the Portuguese mainland in recent days. Seven major fires, most of them in the north of the country, were burning out of control by Tuesday evening, officials said. A baby born in Texas with the Zika-linked birth defect, microcephaly, has died, health officials say. The baby was infected in the womb while the mother was traveling in Latin America, though state officials have not identified where. The defect causes abnormally small hands and other developmental damage. Florida Governor Rick Scott also announced four more people had contracted the Zika virus, bringing Florida's total number of cases to 21 cases. Harris County, Texas, where the baby was born, now has two reported cases of babies born with microcephaly. The case is the first Zika-related death reported in Texas. In a statement, the Texas Department of Health Services said there was no risk of locally contracted Zika in Texas. There are 97 cases of the virus in Texas. The Florida Department of Health said officials believe the active transmissions are likely only taking place within the Winewood neighborhood in Miami-Dade County. Governor Scott urged Congress and President Obama to take action. The governor said in a statement, this is not only an issue affecting us here in Florida, this is a national issue. Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton echoed the governor's plea while on the campaign trail, calling on Congress to hold a special session to pass a Zika funding bill. 
The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said nationwide there are 15 cases of Zika-related birth defects and six pregnancy losses associated with infection. The baby's death comes a day after Florida health officials identified a man in West Palm Beach who had contracted the virus. Florida is the only state in the U.S. to have local cases of Zika. This is ABTV News, and these have been the headlines for this week. I'm Stefano, and keep watching American Bollywood TV.